you know, I was just thinking, mm -hmm. most of us, obviously we spend our time in urban environments, like we're in the city and we have, we have a lot of challenges that we're all faced with. And, and if we stay in urban area all the time, it's, it, it's, it can, it gets really hard. Um, but I think one of the best therapies for all of us who will work with our cities is getting out in these open spaces in nature. And it's, I mean, it is their therapy at its best is going on a hike. Right. And, and getting, and then get, you can get renewed to get back into that city again. Um, but I think that's something really healthy. I think for all of us here is trying to live balanced lives is we just can't be in the middle of stuff all the time in the middle of the city all the time. We also got to get out and, and experience um, the rest of the world a little bit and then, then get back into our cities and the challenges we have. Okay. Hey, last month we talked about how to <laughs> raise all the funds we need for our city efforts. And I've gotten some great responses on that and just some ideas and some creative ways on raising funds and, um, you know, helping our efforts out. And so if you have not seen that yet, I would encourage you to go back to watch that because there's some great, great advice, some great ideas in that, in that last um, uh, meeting we had. Our topic today is how to increase the number of volunteers in your, in your city. Um, and I'm going to throw out the 30% how you can increase your number of volunteers, not only just for your volunteer day, but also year round efforts as well. And that's what we're gonna dive into today. So I wanna start off here by just doing some breakouts. Um, and so I want you to share maybe a, a couple ways that has worked for you in, in increasing the number of volunteers for your volunteer day. Um, and number two, for any year-round efforts that you have, what are some ideas or some ways that, that proven that you said, man, this this has really worked, that we've been able to get more volunteers because of this? Um, and so if you're new, um, feel free just to listen. And, and Or maybe you might have some ideas too. You've involved in other things that you've seen volunteers step up in a way. But I think it'd be great to learn from each other. Let's get some ideas from each other here. So take a couple minutes. I'm going to attempt to get everybody in these break hmm. rooms. Um, let's see, we're gonna do, I think this should work here. Mm -hmm.
All right. And I hope that was really cool to hear from each other. Can we can we highlight a couple of things maybe that you have heard that was like, wow, that is a great idea about getting more volunteers for your volunteer day or more volunteers year round. Can you, anyone want to share just a couple ideas that, that you heard that was pretty inspiring that you want to implement in your city? Don't make me call on you. I'll, I'll share one. I'll highlight Joetta in Love, is it Placentia, I think. So yeah. she said that they send their um, highlight reel from the previous serve day to their current volunteers to just say, hey, remember how much fun we had? Look at look at what we did last time. We're going to we're going to do that again kind of thing. Thought that was a great idea. Yeah, we often do with our video, our post video, we make it in a way that our video editor can turn around and make it a promo video. So it does have that same feel, that excitement. But it's also looking ahead of what it could be. And you don't have to pay for two videos and you got you, know, you can do it all in one. Someone else, what else did you hear that was there's some good ideas that you heard in your group? There's a I, I heard Love it. Orange say that they're on the city website being promoted by the city as the the volunteer platform. Wow. Um, one and, of the ladies in my group was saying like that they, for each of the churches that are involved, they will nominate like a church captain for each. And I really like that idea of having someone so that way you're not having to run after all of the churches, but like having a point person who's rallying people there. Hmm, that's good. So kind of a, a person who can reach out to the churches that have maybe um, some influence that can reach out rather than you're doing everything. If you got someone that can do your church connection, that's good. All right, one more. What's another good idea that you heard that you want to implement? Angel, share about what you're doing city government-wise. Uh, well, for the city, uh, we do we have a city newsletter that goes out to all of the people in our database from previous programs, from events. Um, at our events, we also have like an info booth, so we display flyers for all our programs and events, including Serve La Salle during that time. Um, we also have a, a great connection with the school district, which helps a lot because the high school students are the ones who are looking for volunteer hours. So if you can get in with the school district somehow, that is a, a big, um, it'll be a big push for volunteers for you. Um, but, but things like that. And then social media, of course, social media helps big time. If you have a good social media team that's able to, you know, continuously on a weekly basis, be pushing out on Instagram stories, um, posts regularly, that's going to help gain traction to, to your event. Very, very good. All right. Well, hey, I want to share with you a couple of thoughts over 15 years of doing this. And and I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to, well, I'm going to repeat some of these ideas because they're certainly there as well. But let me share this. Is So every October, I send a survey out to our volunteers six months later. So we do our event in end of April. So six months later, I send a survey out, ask a couple of questions. One is, how many of you are still volunteering in the same project that you signed up for six months ago? And for the last five years, consistently, the number I've gotten back was around 30% of people that are saying we're still volunteering in that same project. Now, this is not completely scientific. Some of these people maybe were already volunteering for that organization, which is a good thing, right? So it's not like they just started maybe and then they continued, but no doubt some did. Um, you know, not everyone responds to the survey. So, you know, we get, you know, you get a thousand responses, but there's many other thousands more that volunteer. So you just kind of your pool that you have there. Another question we ask, how many of you are, are regularly volunteering in our community? And consistently, we've got around 80% that are saying we're regularly volunteering in our community. Now that's a subjective, what does regularly mean? But the goal is 
is that people don't see this as just a day, but they want to, you know, we want to see this as what we're doing year round. And another question is how many of you are going to volunteer for next year's, you know, big love Modesto day and hundred percent, always hundred percent every year. Everyone loves the one day thing. Um, so here's what I've been learning is the projects that we have that we get for our volunteer day. The goal is for these projects to be sustainable is that there's, there's not just a one-off. Now, sometimes you have to do these things. The city might come and say, hey, we got to clean this thing up or we got to paint this thing. And there's not a way to continue to volunteer. It's just, and maybe those things need to happen. But I think the ideal is having projects that there are ways for people to continue to volunteer, weekly opportunities, maybe monthly opportunities, quarterly opportunities. And that's why I love working with nonprofits because there's already leadership built in. I don't have to get a leader. And, and there's also sustainability built in because they're going to have ongoing ways for people to continue to volunteer. So I think, I think a key starting point here is trying to get as many projects as you can that there are ways for people to continue to volunteer. Another thing is, is project leaders, you need to follow up well. So all the project leaders we have, I mean, you know how it is. This project leaders, I and mean, we've talked about this before in our calls, are some of our greatest joys and some of our greatest challenges, especially when they don't show up on the day of the event. You know, it's like, ah. Um, but project leaders need to follow up well. You know, we give them volunteers, they got their emails, they got their, you know, their mobile numbers, they can text. Um, you know, they just need to continue to follow up. And then at the, maybe at the volunteer day, say, Hey, is it okay? This is who we are. This is what we do. This is the difference we're making. Thank you for being a part. Is it okay if I stay in touch with you, you know, throughout this year and let you know of ongoing ways. I mean, just asking that permission and then following up the, the best, um, you know, projects and project leaders are those that, that continue the relationship, you know, throughout the year. Another thing is we also need to follow up. Well, these people signed up under us, they signed up under our cities. So we need to check in with them. We need to do surveys with them. Is your project leader following up? I'm doing that today with all the people that have signed up so far. Have, has your project leader reached out to you yet? If not, let us know. And then we reach out to the project. They say, hey, you need to contact your volunteers. They need to hear from you. And so we need to follow up well. We have their emails. We have their addresses, obviously, in that, in, in that too. Um, here's a key. This is something I'm, I'm learning here real recently. Maximize the number of projects that you have. If you build it, they will come. That's what I'm learning is you, if you only have a few projects, you might fill those few projects up and you're going to maximize the number of volunteers you have. But if you've got as many projects as you can, you're going to have more volunteers, right? I mean, and maybe not every project will fill up, but overall you're going to have more volunteers when you maximize and you're kicking every tire and you're out there trying to you know, learn as, as much as possible about your community and how you can best serve your community. And but the more projects, the more people. That's just how it works. Um, certainly, we talked about appealing to churches, businesses, organi organizations, service clubs, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, high schools, colleges. On your When people sign up for a project, they choose, they get to choose their affiliation or affiliations. They can choose multiple affiliations. That is like gold for us. Because we can see all the organizations and churches and all that, where people are signing up under. So now it's time for our volunteer day in less than a month. We reach out to those organizations. Hey, just a reminder, you know, thank you for volunteering last year in this project. Would you want to do that again this year? I mean, it's a way for us to pursue those that have already been a part. Um, and, and they've letting us know what, you know, what ways they've been a part. Um, certainly, you know, large, the large signs, I hear this often, large signs is the most cost efficient way to let your whole community know of an event coming up. And you have those four foot by eight foot signs, you put them as many places you can put them. It just, it's unbelievable how it gets the word out. People know about, about that. Now, obviously posters, email, social media, texts, um, and getting your city on board. I appreciate, you know, Angel sharing that. That is huge. Our cities, you know, even Love Orange, that's so cool. It's on their website. That should be a goal of ours is to be on our city's website, you know? Um, and so for them to show and just have this relationship that we're supporting each other in this is, is absolutely huge. Um, I think afterwards, we have to share stories well. This is something I'm not good at, but I've hired someone who really is good at it. 
Um, so sharing the story, sharing the data, um, we can't just have a, a big volunteer thing, an event going on, or even volunteering throughout the year. I've always been good at promoting. I haven't been good at following up well and sharing. This is the difference we made. And I think that is where we finish well. The event isn't over on April 27th. The event, you got to have at least two more weeks to really ride the wave and get, you know, celebrate as you know much as you can. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to share this is all of us live in our cities. We love where we live. That's why we're doing this. That's why you're on this call. And so when you're out at the grocery store, you know, shopping at Target, Home Depot, whatever, when you're out going out to a restaurant, you know, or just out and about at school, picking your kids up or whatever, the, we live in our community. So we're all ambassadors of what we do. And, and I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people in this community because I've been here for almost 30 years. And so that is a win. That is like the longer you live there and the more that you're involved in the community, the, we're just the ones that can best share that, hey, we have something coming up, you know, and you don't want to always, we don't want people running from you if they see you coming, you know, but what an opportunity we have because we live in our community, we love our community, that we're ambassadors of volunteerism. That's, that's really you know, who we are. Now, the other side of that is, is sometimes like my wife reminds me when we go out on a date night or whatever, we don't go, my wife, won't, we can't come to our community. Like we have to go somewhere else because I run into people that I'm not a really good dad. I'm not a good husband. You know, I'm talking to everybody else out there, which has been, you know, I don't know about you guys, but that's my issue. I love, I love people. So I'm always talking to everybody like, oh yeah, that's right. I have a family. I can't So let's get out of Modesto. We got to go somewhere else you know, to make sure that's going well. Any any questions or comments so far on some of these ideas on how to increase, maximize the number of volunteers you have, you can have in your community? Okay, so here's what I wanna sh uh, share with you is we've been, I think, doing pretty well at this one day experience. That's kind of where we started. That's what we try to, do really well and trying to and i think in all of our communities it works and then you have a day get people to come out and it's just been a winning experience where the counterpart for that is is year round how are we continuing this effort now i know i know we have some data here that says hey project leaders follow up well but you're relying on them and there there's not a there was hasn't there's never been a system in place we haven't had a platform in place like we have for the one day volunteer day. So what we're introducing this year, and I've been talking about it for a while now, is something called Volunteer Central. Volunteer Central will be the complement to the citywide volunteer day. Volunteer Central is the ongoing ways to volunteer in the community, letting our community know here are ways, you know, depending on your interest, you know, there's ways this week and next week and next month. And here's organizations that you can continue to volunteer in our community. So um, so I want to do is share with you, I'm going to try to attempt to share my screen here. Where did it go? There it is. So this is what we're sharing here. Now, all these, all these documents are interchangeable. And so you're going to be able to put input any of your cities in this as well, if you want to have this for your city, but basically volunteer central. The need, we've had to sell this to our community in a sense by saying the reality is the effects of recent years have been profound. Anxiety, depression, loneliness, we all know the mental health issues we have here. So one of the ways we combat these negative effects is volunteering, getting our community back together, serving alongside of each other, building bridges out of differences. Our community needs a central place to go to be inspired to learn about volunteer opportunities. I don't think most communities don't have that. We don't have that here. Everyone just, if they want to volunteer, they just Google and, and they get lost and they forget it. They don't, they end up doing it. So we need a central place here to do that here. So what does, here's some data here, the impact of volunteering does. We see the research on the mental health benefits of volunteering. We know about the barriers, people that don't have time, you know, one asked me to. Um, some good data here on 90% of Americans want to volunteer, but only one in four do. Um, so we kind of give some, Hey, here's what we did on a one day experience last year. Imagine what could be done if we inspire our community to volunteer year round. 
So here's the solution is Volunteer Central, an online platform eager to connect people who want to volunteer to organizations and individuals who need help. Users can find unique volunteer opportunities in our community and track their volunteer hours for verification. Volunteer Central will be both a web and app-based platform. So I think the key, why we've been successful in the one-day experience is because we made it easy for people to sign up. We made it clean, easy. You show up here, we'll, you sign up what you want to do. It's a three-hour experience. You go home. Um, we need to make this thing as easy as possible as well if we're going to have people to volunteer year-round. So we made it look like this. There's two categories to choose from, you know, or two, two, two categories that would be profiled. Partner organizations and volunteer opportunities. Um, there'll be a leaderboard. Uh, you'll be able to see others in your community volunteering um, and how many hours they're at, depending on their age group, as well as as a city as a whole. And then there'll be rewards for every 10 hours, someone volunteers to be able to receive a credit towards participating in restaurant entertainment. We need to incentivize this a little bit and make it fun. I think that's that's our secret to our success is we've got to make volunteering fun. And so here's our plan. We're doing it here. We're going to announce it here. We're going to, Modesto will be a pilot. We're kind of beta testing this thing here. We're trying to get all the quirks and the glitches and all that out before we want to share it with all you guys or all the other cities as well. But we're going to announce it here on April 27th. And then on the you know, expected outcomes, we're dreaming big. We really believe this is going to have as much, if not more impact than the volunteer day has. I think we're going to be more known for this than because this is going to be year round than the volunteer day. They go hand in hand. Don't get me wrong, but I think um, I really believe that we're going to have a huge impact in this. And then I think it's important to get endorsements from those in your community that say this is the best thing ever. You need to sign up. You need to be a part of this thing here. So that's a quick overview. Now I want to do this. I want to demo this for you. Um, again, we're still in process. We're not completely done yet, but at least you'll get a good idea of what this is going to look like here. So this is, of course, web-based. I can't show you my phone. My phone works real, real well, but this is kind of what it looks like, you know, Volunteer Central, you know, kind of our same branding. If you, uh, you are going to have a thing up top here recommended for you. You see that in a lot of apps. So if you add your interest, see if I can do it here. So here's like the interest category. So I want to add animals and neighborhoods. You click next. Go to my homepage, and then supposedly it's supposed to show up here. But uh, so maybe I didn't have the right the organizations. We have a lot of trial organizations in here right now, but typically you're going to have your organizations that show up there. You got your slider of your different options of volunteer opportunities in these different categories, and then you got your partner organizations. You can view them all, you know, that you have in there. Um, or you can slide here and see them as well. Um, and then you've got your volunteer opportunities, you know. And so, like, for example, Boys and Girls Club, they'll have, i show you. Yeah, here's kind of an overview. We want to promote our organizations that are on the front lines in our community. Um, but if you click on, here's a volunteer opportunity, um, you can sign me up, signs up for, you know, this volunteer volunteer opportunity that's there um, kind of shows the location as well where it's at where you're going to be meeting at um, view more so you'll see all the volunteer opportunities you have a map view so around town you kind of see where each one is located at if it's near you or not um, here's that leaderboard i was talking about which is like i think this is gonna be so much fun so like again you have different age groups you got seniors adults you've got young adults You've got, um, I think, college, um, high school, you know, school age, whatever, the different categories. But you know, then you'll have your city rankings, who has the most volunteer hours. Bob's got, you know, again, we're still working this thing out here, but it's, you know, 48 hours for Bob. You know, or your screen name is going to be your, by the way, it's going to have your screen name. So it's not going to have someone's email address. It'll have the screen name of the person. Um, and then like rewards I was talking about. So if rewards works here or if it's spinning it's not working um let's try this again here of course it doesn't work when i'm showing trying to show you guys here but basically 
what we see here is like a Starbucks. And by the way, I'm I'm contacting a lot of these. I just oh there it is. Like so, Starbucks as will donate an eight dollar gift card. They'll do the same in your city too. By the way, um, Chick Fil A is donating a chicken sandwich meal, which is like a 12, 13 bucks now. Whatever it is, I keep raising the prices. Um, and then I just talked to Raising Canes yesterday. They're in. Everyone I'm talking to is in. Okay, because it's like a coupon. So you gotta if you go to Raising Canes, my Raising Canes gives my 10 year old a free like kids meal you know they get that i don't know if you guys get those from raising him but but what happens is we take our whole family we end up spending 60 bucks so it's a win for them because so this is like a, it's a win for businesses we want our businesses to thrive but it's also a fun win here that you can also you know um you know have this you know it's just especially for young people i think just having like these rewards is really cool so don't have that yet uh, profile. I mean, this is basically the app. You know, this is me. You know, I'm just doing a trial here. You verified hours, your age rank, city rank, your rewards available, rewards redeemed, the projects you've participated in. Um, so basically, it's just a real try to make this thing as simple. Um, but as you all know, technology isn't simple. There's a lot behind the scenes here. And I've wanted this thing done a long time ago, but we're still, I'm just learning to be patient, persistent. And let's not release this thing until this thing is, we try to break this thing. Like it is working seamlessly. And right now it's, you know, we're getting there. It's not there yet, obviously. Um, but we started onboarding organizations already. And we're starting to onboard projects. So we're going to get rid of all of our testing stuff and just have real, you know, and then when everything is working, hopefully by October, my goal is, is, hey, y'all, this is for you too. Here you go. Here's the keys. So... All right. Any any questions? Any uh, ideas? Suggestions? Anything that you saw that man that we need to maybe include or think about? Uh, yeah, Jeff. Who who does all that for you? Are, do you have an app developer? How how are you working that? Yeah, I mean John Wren. A lot of you guys have interacted with John Wren. He's our developer, and so. You know, he was one of our city leaders many years ago in Washington, and he moved to Bakersfield, California, and he's got a media business. And um, so he's our guy. I mean, so even our website, you know, we don't have millions and millions of dollars. Like we're not, I don't know if you guys, surprise, um, shocker, um, but we're not, we're not Apple, you know, we're not, you know, even Ikea, if you go to Ikea's WAP app, Everything just seems to work. And that doesn't always work, by the way, but it seems to always work. We have some glitches sometimes and it frustrates the heck out of me. Um, but I also know John's on it. And the more that we keep fixing these things, the more is that they should stay fixed going forward. And I think I learned that with our website. I'm still learning it with our website is there's so many complexities involved. Um, but but you know what? And John is, he is the, he is the most amazing guy as a person um just the nicest guy in the world and he's so brilliant in trying to develop this thing um but yeah this is his baby this is his i mean we own it it's love our cities um but he's our guy and he's got a team of people too and we're wanting to raise some more dollars to get some more to have john have an assistant um that's our big goal here in the next couple of weeks is raise some more dollars so we can pay someone part-time that that person is fully attentive technology wise to you all when you have an issue it should be fixed right away and you shouldn't have any more issues, by the way. It shouldn't, we're done with issues. But the reality is they do come up. That's just how it happens. And we need to be on it right away. We need to serve you guys better in that way. Um, I'm hoping as this website ages, that it it does become more stable um, and becomes more consistent. I think that, that's the goal. So, Jeff, this is Kendra. I love Patterson. Um, is there going to be a cost to that when you do uh, roll it out? a very good question the answer is no not to us there won't be um but there what we are going to ask is for our organizations for for the volunteer day our organizations we don't ask anything for our organizations right i mean we serve them we give them volunteers for a day as well as year round we've been serving them for a long time and so for our organizations we are going to ask for a a small fair amount we need buy-in from them like if you give something a free to someone, often they don't appreciate it, you know, but they sacrifice a little bit, maybe they're going to follow up better. Maybe they're going to 
beyond you make sure their volunteer stuff is up to par like we need it to be here so we are going to have and i'll roll this out here um and it's going to be flexible for your city as well i'm not going to dictate exactly what you do for your city but i do think we have a really good model um of an idea and we're going to by the way we're trying it here first and it's working so the bigger organizations you're going to pay a little bit more the small ones you know what you're not going to pay as much and i mean that's just but we if, do you have 100 bucks that you can put towards this okay now i know you're probably going to follow through on this thing more than if i just gave it to you for free because obviously this thing has been costing us we've been paying for this thing for a long time developing this thing um and so there is going to be and by the way when they do pay the what we're our model we're looking at here is this is a fundraiser for you guys so 70 percent of it you're going to keep so the 100 bucks you keep seventy dollars, thirty dollars of it goes to Lover Cities because we got to keep this thing going here. We got to figure out how to pay this thing. Um, so we're looking at that kind of model. But nothing those the dollar amounts you see on our homepage for every year, the annual donation, don't see that changing. That was an idea that we had in the past. Like, hey, maybe we should charge more each cities for this app. You guys are paying enough. I want most of the money that you guys raise to keep in your cities and i want to help you guys raise more money and i think this is a way that you're going to raise a little bit more money for your cities as well got it thank you yes Dallin. um so just to be clear the cities would not be paying um for it but the organizations that you, we partner with like the chick-fil-a the starbucks they would be required to pay just a little bit no, not the Chick-fil-A store. Those would be businesses. Oh. But you're talking about the volunteer organizations like Habitat oh. for Humanities, United Way, people okay. like that. We're going to ask a little bit from them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I wanted to make sure I was understanding. Here, I can do this if you guys want to. Um, I got to find it, though. I don't know. I can't do this thing on the spot. I'm never good at this kind of thing. Let me see if I can pull this up. Being that you're asking, I want to be prepared to give this to you. Here's a, all right, let's see if this thing works here. Let's share screen. So this is what we're giving to our organizations. Again, this could all be interchangeable wording and all that for you to use it however you want. Here's the benefits for your organization being a part of a volunteer central. You're gonna get growth in volunteers, comprehensive platform, seamless event postings, social media. Um, you're gonna have just your trusted status in our community, enhance brand visibility. There's benefits for being a part of this app. If you're a Habitat for Humanity, a sense for your community. How to join Volunteer Central, you gotta have a nonprofit status or our city or county government that, that could pass as well. Um, if they have volunteer opportunities, you got to have a liability waiver. So we're not going to, our insurance is not going to cover those organizations, volunteer opportunities. Our insurance covers the one day policy. You have a one day policy for your one day. But when people are volunteering throughout the year, each organization needs to have their own liability, right? Um, you got to have an identified coordinator, volunteer central coordinator expectations. You got to be responsive within 48 hour business hours. You need to be able to respond when someone says, I want to volunteer for your organization. It's not too much of an expectation, I think, if someone contacts you. Um, clear instructions, attendance, tracking for volunteer hours. We need to verify hours too. So how do we verify rewards? The volunteer coordinator needs to say that person volunteered two hours, you know, so then we can click it into our rewards there. post engagement, involvement, feedback and improvement, annual contribution commitment. And so this is what we're doing here as annual contribution. You have an unlimited plan, a limited plan, unlimited as many project postings as you want, uh, event postings as you want. And we're going to, on our social media, we're going to promote you um, on our social media three times throughout the year. The limited, you're going to have three, two, and one. Cost, this is what we're doing. This is our price points for our area, okay? Is, hey, for under 50000 if you're a small nonprofit, we just need a little bit of buy-in from you. Hey, if you got $5 million a year nonprofit, 1000 bucks isn't asking a whole lot, to be honest with you. And, and by the way, we've got, so far, we've got about 25 organizations that are interested in many, most of our applying. No one is even questioning this. They're like, yes, there's value to this thing. And so you know, we think that price points are pretty low. That's the feedback I'm getting here so far. 
So what do you guys, what's your questions regarding that? Jeff, what's the relationship between the website and the app then? How how would those yeah. be? The, the goal is seamless. <laughs> when someone, that's the goal, okay? Um, and it will be obtained because, and already we are trying, to, we are working it right now and it seems to be working. If you, if you have an account on the website, you have an account on the app. So when you hit sign me up, it knows who you are and, and it calculates your hours on the website, you know, and, and your in the app hours, they all, basically it's one account. And so if you don't have an account, when you hit sign me up, it goes to, you have to make an account. So you can make an account either way. When you sign up for your volunteer day, if you don't have an account or sign up for the app. So it should be absolutely seamless. Now you and I both know with technology, things aren't always what you set out to be. Um, but that's why Modesto is going to have mud on our face here first. I mean, if this thing doesn't work, if there's quirks, I'm willing to step out. And I think we have enough credibility in our community that people will forgive us if things aren't working as they should. Um, but of course, I don't want to release this thing until it is working as it should. Um, I just know once you release it, you know, sometimes things pop up along the way. And so, but yeah, the bottom line is this thing should be all, it's all in one. And there's nothing else out there like it. I mean, that I think we're trailblazing this technology in a sense by having all this, having a front end website where you can design, having a back end volunteer page, having an app, all this all in one is a pretty amazing ecosystem we've developed here. Jeff, this is exactly what we need. We have I have 45 nonprofits that are willing to jump in on a combined thing right now. So we we need this platform as quickly as possible. So I'm trying. whatever we can do to help. If that happened, that would be awesome. I mean, y'all know, most, some of you know, we've been working on this for, I don't know, a couple of years now. I mean, this idea has been in process for five years now. Um, but the goal was last fall, because I got a volunteer day coming up in 24 days. This is killing me right now, because I'm trying to get this app thing going in the volunteer day, you know, and, but it is what it is. Um, but, uh, Rick, what you just said is when I'm I'm hearing the exact same words from our nonprofits here saying, finally, our community needs this. We have no no one knows about it, especially the small guy. No one knows about him. We can promote the small guy. We can get them the notoriety that they need to get all the volunteers they need. And the county and the city here, they're all in. I mean, they are all in saying we want to fund this thing and we want to see this thing be profiled everywhere in our community. Our community needs a place to go for people to volunteer, to get involved. So I believe it'll be the same for your cities as well. So when you think of love our cities, I think we're going to have, we have two, two products, the citywide volunteer day and volunteer central. Of course, we're going to be encouraging, you know, convening. We're going to be encouraging getting involved in other things as well. Um, having school partnerships and, in your neighborhoods. I mean, all the other things too, but there's other wonderful people in our, in our in around that are doing these things really well. I mean, we just signed it. We just got our, our grant for our um, our school partnership program. So School Connect. If you don't know anything about School Connect, you got to work with Tracy Beal and School Connect because they're working with us. We're working with them. We don't need to be the experts in that. They are. Um, but I think our lane, and I've been told this for so many different people, is our lane is the Citywide Volunteer Day and ongoing volunteerism. That's our lane. And so we're going to try to be as proficient as possible in that lane to, so it can be a value add to your cities and everything you guys are doing. Oh my gosh, we are over time. I am so sorry, y'all. I have passion when I get talking about something, it just goes there. All right. Well, hey, next month, we're going to be celebrating over 30 cities that are having their citywide volunteer days in April. So we're going to be celebrating that. What I want to do is stay on the call here and I want to hear any honest feedback you guys have about website stuff. And maybe Jamie, you can stay on as well. And um, any issues, any suggestions, any ideas? Um, we just want to, I'm trying so hard for this website to be as, as stable and consistent and serving you all the best it can. And it, and it just frustrates me when it, when I hear some things that aren't working sometimes. Um, but I'm not giving up and we're going to keep working on it. But I'd love to stay on if you guys have any insights or anything you can give to Jamie and I. 
so that we can make sure your website is doing everything that you want it to be. All right. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day. We'll see you next month. All right. Record. So thank you for hanging out. I'll just say one thing about the website. Um, we used our last fall and we're using it again this spring and the kinks are so much worked out. So thank you for continuing to work on that. Yes, <laughs> I needed to hear that. I yes. needed to hear it so we have yes. the kinks yes. are worked out. Yes. yes, so it is It is going much better. We've only had one really weird thing and I connected with John about it a little bit. It was very strange. Someone signed up for like five different projects with a